Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we're going to go for number two shop my stash video. We are going to start with what I used last the last two, two and a half weeks and then I'm going to go in the new bag for the next two and a half weeks. So I have to start though saying that this has been such an amazing time for me. I was able to finish a bunch of things. I was able to hit pan in a bunch of things. I am so obsessed with this idea. I love it. I love it so much. I cannot wait to try more things from my collection. I cannot wait to rotate things around. And I just enjoy this freaking a lot. Okay. All right. Without further ado, let's go and see. What's so in? I think this is a little bit of a better angle. I don't know. We'll see. But I have tried this thing uh, from Pretty Vulgar. I bought it a, a while back and I really wanted to give it a try and see if it's working better. But it does oxidize a lot on my face and it's very yellowish. I do not enjoy this that much but I have to say out of the all three foundation that I had this one was the one that stayed on my face the longest but I do still don't enjoy this um, the foundation this so this is cool if pretty vulgar foundation the next foundations that I've used this one I actually I used it the the most because this was the only one out of the three that I uh, it was the closest to my skin tone but also the one that I love the most on my skin. So this is Dream Radiant Liquid from Mabel in New York. The only problem that I had with this foundation is that was not long uh, resistant on my face. Maybe five, six hours in it was starting to actually um, separate. So if you're using this one, just so you know, it does separate like a five, six hour mark, especially if you're oily skin like I am. The next in here was this one that I did uh, use the least. This is Light Illusion from uh, Flower Beauty. I I feel like I'm I just too dewy for me. It doesn't wear too well and also just I didn't like it that much. I think it was way too dark for my skin tone. I have the shade, uh, let me see if I can find it for you. Saddle D1. It is a little bit too dark for my complexion, so I didn't like using it that much. Uh, but also it has too much of a dewiness effect than what I usually like or go for. So this was mm, not that great for me. Next, let's talk about concealers. Concealers, I did pick two. This is ELF one, is the camel concealer, the 16 hour one in satin finish. I it is a very light color, although it is called uh, light peach. Um, I did not enjoy this one. It did separate. Um, it did not sit too very, too well on my skin. Unfortunately, I thought I'm gonna like it more than what I did, but it did not, and it did not stay in place. It was just moving all day. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't, I, I really don't know about this one. And then the other one, I haven't even played with that much. This is the Revolution Conceal and Fix. This one is very light. This is more for your face to cover up the zits, but it's way too light for my complexion as well. So I didn't try it that much. I tried it one or two days and it was like, ah, eh, it's just extra work. Nobody's gonna see it under the mask. There's no need, so yeah. This one wasn't a, a great one either. I gotta say, my complexion products did not go that well. Unfortunately, they didn't. And I did not like how my skin looked in a lot of this, um, a lot of the days because of the foundation or concealer or even powders. Because this one is diamond powder from Winky Lux and Medium Deep. This is way too dark for my skin tone, but I did but I did hit pan in it. So look at that one. That is so I am I'm, I'm happy about that. 
but yeah it is a little bit too dark for my skin complexion but i was able to use it um nicely with uh one of the lighter foundation the one from um um from maybelline that i was showing you earlier so yeah this was okay ish it did not last it did not set my makeup for the entire day though so if you're going for something that can set your makeup for the entire day this is not it um it was okay ish uh, I forgot to talk about, yes, I forgot to talk about primers. Okay, so this one, Elf Parlous Potty Primer, I use the most. <laughs> Look at that. It's just like uh, only a little bit left in there. So there we go. It was just a little bit left in there. I am glad I got to this point. I'm not going to keep it for this week, but definitely it's going to get into my um, pan this finished that product. All right, so the next one that I had for primer was this one from Pretty Vulgar Detox and Chill. I did not like this one that much. Also, the foundations that I had... They weren't the, the type of foundation that I would like to wear something hydrating underneath because they're all pretty hydrating themselves. So I did not use this one that much. And when I did use it, I did not like it that much. Now for uh, the other two powders that I have used was is this one from Sexy Mama Anti-Shine translucent powder it is not anti-shine i mean it's anti-shine for like two hours but i used a good amount of this one too and i used it for my under eyes sometimes but um this was an okay powder but it's not it's not an amazing quality and then this one um from kkw it is way too white for my under eyes it dries oof, a lot and I tried to use it as much as I could. I used it more to set up my face and bake, uh, to bake my nose with it because um, it does it does sets it in place. But other than that, I did not use it that much for my under eye area. All right, so now for blushes and powders and bronzers. I gotta say though, I just I took out way too many bronzers. So this one from Ofra, this is Rodeo Drive. I only use it once or twice. It is, ugh, it has a lot of sparkle for my everyday use. Um, I just, I don't know if this is something for good for like an everyday use. But I tried it a few times. I was not that um, impressed with it. It's okay, but not necessarily for my job when I go to my work. The next one that I used, and actually I've used this one quite a lot, this little duo, the Bronzing Glow from Natasha Denona. So this is how it looks inside. This one has actually, um, the, the bronzer is really nice and also what I, I like that uh, little sparkly highlighter. It's really pretty. I do enjoy it. It's not too much for during the day. So I did use this one a lot and I did enjoy this one. Another highlighter is this one from Hourglass. I have tried it a few times. This is how it looks like. I do like it. I just don't feel like, um, I just didn't have enough time to use this one because I did use that one from Natasha Denona a lot. So I think I even might put this one, uh, for the next two weeks too. We'll, we'll, we'll see at the end. But yeah, I have not been able to use this more than once or twice. Another bronzer that I've used, it was this one from Ulta Beauty Matte Bronzer. This is how it looks inside. And if I would have continued a little bit more, I would have hit pan in it. I have used it a lot. I do like this a lot from Ulta Beauty. I cannot believe this is not talk about, about anybody. This is a freaking amazing, amazing bronzer. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now the bronzer. I had this one out from 
um, Colourpop, this is the designer, Disney designer collection, Kissing a Frog, and this is how it looks inside. I have tried it multiple times. I do like it. I do enjoy it. It does have a little bit of a sparkle, but it doesn't upset me that much. It is really pretty, but, you know, it's just really hard to use a lot of blush, you know. But I did use quite a lot. I, I did make a little bit of a dent in there. The other one that I've used, it was this one from Almay. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it doesn't even look like it was used, but I, I promise you I did use it quite a lot. And I do enjoy it. I do like it. And I'm glad to have it in my collection. And this is in 20 Mauve. All right, mascaras. I gotta say, this one... It is actually over. I can just throw this away. This is uh, Tarte from Tarte is from Tarte. I really enjoy it. Unfortunately, it dries down really fast. I wasn't open more than six months, but it did dry down, so I will not be able to use this anymore. But it was a really nice uh, mascara. And then this one, I have used it a little bit, but not that much, to be honest with you. Wonder Beauty was okay-ish. I did use it only for the bottom lashes. And then while I was trying the this mascara from ABH, I did start to enjoy it a little bit more. So I'm going to keep the remaining of this as well. Now for things that I already finished, this one I finished as well during these two weeks. And I did bought a different thing to um, use for my eyebrows. We're going to talk about that when we're going to go in what is going to get into these next two weeks. And this is from Micro Precision. Um, this is Micro Precise uh, Eyebrow. Uh, pencil from Essence. I absolutely love these. The, the only thing is, um, it usually takes me about a week and a half to finish one. So, yeah. Now, the three lipsticks that I had for these two weeks were this one from Morphe and Too Faced Melted Chocolate and Sugar Cosmetics. I have to say I tried all three of them. Morphe, I do not like that much. The Sugar Cosmetics is really nice. It's a really nice formula and really nice color. So I'm going to keep this one. But Morphe and uh, Too Faced Melted Chocolate, they are going to be uh, donated. Because we're not going to keep them in my collection anymore. The two um, setting sprays, really nice, really good. I tried them before. I really like them. I love this one from Milani Make It Last Matte Finish. Nothing else to say about this. Now, last thing that I want to talk to you is all the uh, eyeshadow palettes that I tried. And actually, to be honest with you, I have put way too many eyeshadow palettes for me to try during these two and a half weeks. So we're going to change that for sure. We're not going to do that anymore. So this is um, Caramel Melange from Zoeva. I really love this one. I have tried it multiple times. I absolutely adore this palette. Essentials. I have never played with this one until two weeks ago, and I have got in there and played with it, and I love, 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 love this eyeshadow palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous shimmers and gorgeous mattes in here. The next one that I tried is this one, Brow Bar by Rima. This is in drama queen i don't like this one that much i do like these two shimmers over here but that was it and then i did try to play with these two from uh revolution and i freaking love these two every time i play with them i love them not only packaging but also i love the colors it it is a little bit harder formula to play with, but once you once you put it on your eyes, they're just magic. I love it. And the last thing that I did put in my in my try on these two weeks has been this one from Huda Beauty. This is the khaki um, haze palette. I absolutely love this thing. Oh my god, it's so 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 beautiful, you guys. It is a gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadow palette. Now we're ready to start again and fill this up. We're going to go with Pure 4-in-1 Pure Four Love Your Selfie Foundation. I have mine in uh, TJ1. 
and I'm excited to reopen this and play with. I'm freaking excited. I have not opened this one yet, but we will gonna play with this for sure. Um, the next one that I did bought is from Huda Beauty recently. I got this at 40% off, I believe, and I'm excited to play a little bit longer with it. I have tried it a few days and I absolutely love it. And for um, primers, we're going to go with this one from uh, uh, June & Co. It's the Moonshine Miracle Cream. And then I have another one from Ordinary. This is High uh, Adherent Silicone Primer. And then for, and I also decided to put this one in there too. This is the Becca Skin Love Waylist Blur Foundation. And this is in the shade Bamboo. I'm almost done with it. So I want to finish it off for sure during this time. So I think this is the best time to do it. I will put this one in here as well. As for concealer, we're just going to go with this one from KKW. This is almost done and I have mine in shade 4. And for powder, we're going to go with Juice Beauty. This is the Organic Solution. And it is light diffusing dust powder um and i have mine in 14 sand and uh something to set my under eyes is uh, gonna do this one which is shape tape setting powder from tarte and um a blush we're gonna definitely go with this one from excel um i have not tried this one yet this is a brand that i bought from japan um back in january when i went there so we're definitely gonna um try this one as well as for my highlighter we're gonna go with this from from color pop and this is the this is from the beginning of the year 2020 wrap whatever it was um uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> what a year to celebrate uh but yes this is the uh, definitely the um, highlighter that we're going to use this uh, month, this uh, this period. And for bronzer, we're going to use Hotel Harris from Tarte. This is how this one looks like. Ah, oh, so pretty. I have not played with it so far, but I'm excited to try it. So we're going to give it a go. As for mascaras, I decided to go with two mascaras. We're going to go with Essence uh, Lash Princess Volume Mascara, and this is with a pink cap. And then we're going to go with Milani Highly Rated Mascara as well. Lipsticks, I decided to go with four lipsticks because um, you'll see. So I have this one from... Boxum. This is called Vava Plump Lights Down. I absolutely love this shade. Um, I decided to go with this one from Jeffree Star, which is in collaboration with Shane Dawson. And this one, it is in Jeffree What the Fuck. And I love, 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 love this this color. Next in here, we're going to go with Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream, and this is from Milani. And then we're going to go with this one from um, Fenty Beauty because I almost done with it. I really want to finish it. This is all I have left in this little one, but I am excited to try. I am excited to finish it off, and this is in, and this is in thick, in the shade thick. There we go. And then and then I decided to put this in there too. This is from Mark Jacobs. It is an eyeliner and it is so pretty. And I want to try it a little bit more. As for <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna go with the setting spray, the same one like last week, Milani make it last. But for eyeshadow palettes, we are going to play with the minis. So we're going to play with these two that I just bought. This is uh, Rachel and Monica from Makeup Revolution. 
I am so excited to play with these two. I have not played with them at all. And then also I'm going to put uh, this one, Khaki Haze from Huda Beauty, still in my collection because I love this eyeshadow palette a lot. So let me unbox this so I can show it to you. All right, so here's Rachel. It is really nice. It has shopping on a break, din dinosaur, 90s, Barney's, tag, chip, pushover, and crush. I think this is such a beautiful palette for an everyday use. And also you can go out, you can do it for like work, you can do it for outside. It has a lot of, a lot of fun in it. And then Monica, this is the one that I liked a lot because this one screams full to me and this one has shades hatches clean chef uh jeller cup chicken twins frizzy bing obsessive and thanksgiving so these are just gorgeous i cannot wait to play with them love 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 them and of course uh the beauty the cute beauty one man this colors are just so freaking these colors are so fantastic so fantastic i love them i put them on the eyes and i just got compliments all day long about my makeup so so beautiful the shimmers are gorgeous the mattes are absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful um eyeshadow palette all right, so this is it. This is what is going to be in my collection. Stash this next two weeks. Hopefully, it's going to uh, wear down a little bit better than the other ones the, last, the past two weeks because the other ones have been a little bit rough. I didn't like my uh, face that much, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to insert a few pictures so you can see how it looked. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure these ones are going to be better because I know those foundations are going to look definitely gorgeous on my skin tone. So, um, yeah, this is it. All I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching this such a long video. I know I haven't posted that much. And I'm not going to be posting that much from now on. Because I do have something that I'm working on. And I'm extremely busy. But please don't leave. You just stay there. Because a lot of new things are going to come. And a lot of stuff is going to pop up here and there. Just be patient with me, okay? Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time with another video.